Hello and welcome to Hemi Thoughts. Um, my past week has been, I don't know, it's been a rough weekend. I, I went too hard, you know, life hits too hard, so I had to hit it back, but it hit me again, even harder, I hated it. Never doing that again. Um, but other than that, uh, I've just noticed that the weather has becoming warmer and now it's colder. Surprise, Michigan is weird and I don't like it, but it's safe here, there's water. I don't know, it's safe. It there's no earthquakes or hurricanes or anything. It's just, you know, I don't really care if it's boring, it's safe. That's, that's what I, the first priority for me. Okay, um, what else happened? Hmm, I'm trying to think. Oh yes, I, I think I should plug um, this show that I'm gonna be doing on YouTube. Uh, it's called Rollerblading with Grace. I've done, I've done two episodes before, but I'm bringing it back. You rollerblade? Yeah, I rollerblade. And I don't know, it's just always been a hobby for years and years. It's like, I really love creating content and putting it up on YouTube, because I don't know, it's just how I express myself. Um, okay, so I wanna plug that, watch out for that. Uh, and then, I have been slacking, but now can't do that anymore. So you're gonna die, because uh, class is good. Right, right. Oh god, there's only like I think there's only maybe two or three weeks left of class, and then it's all exams. And like, geez, Louise, time is ticking. Gotta get your head in the game. All right, well enough about me. Today my guest here is Michiko. Say hello. Hi. So, tell us about how your past seven days have been. Oh, past seven days. Okay. Well, well, basic ass party happened. Mm -hmm. We both went hard together. Uh, that was pretty fun. Um, lots of gay porn. Um, lots of drinking. It's not actual gay. It was just just pictures of just pictures of gay porn. But no, no, it's not. It's not actually. There were no. There were no PPs on the wall. <laughs> there wasn't. No. That, I, I, okay. Where you lying? Oh, dang. Okay. Well, there was that. Uh, I had lunch with an old Japanese lady today. She paid for me. That was nice. Um, like randomly, we like met at a Japanese potluck, and we figured out that her son lives in Portland and came over to my house once. Small world. So she was like, we should we should eat together. I was like, okay. What did you guys eat? We went to Tomoka and I, and I specifically told her like we should go to Tomoka noodle bar. So I was waiting there, you know, like I sat down, like there were waters in front of me and I didn't have her phone number. So I had no way to contact her. So I was like, should I email her? But like, that might be kind of weird, you know? Uh -huh. So then, but then she emailed me and she was like, I'm sitting. So then I went through each, each row and like checked to see their faces to see if it was her. And it wasn't. And then I was like, oh shoot, like she probably went to the other Tomoka. And so I went to Tomoka and Korean barbecue and she was like sitting there by herself. I was like, this is the wrong one. But I didn't tell her that cause if you're rude. So I was like, oh, like it's okay. Like I'll just bring my stuff. I'll sit with you. And she was like, okay. So you guys eat a totally different menu of food. Than yeah, I wanted pho. And I had to get sundubu instead, and I always eat sundubu. Oh, see. Well, poor you. You got free sundubu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's been my week. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, let me just ask you a few questions. Number one, what makes you a good roommate? Oh, shoot. This is important because Hemi and I are going to be roommates. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, that was my ulterior motive. <laughs> uh, what makes me a good... Okay, well... I can tell you things. Oh, actually, no. Okay, what makes me a good roommate? Um, shoot, I don't know if I have any good qualities. Oh my God, <laughs> your hesitation makes me worry. Okay, okay, let me think. Okay, so what? Well, I'm sorry. I'm gonna say first of all that I fart in my sleep, so you, it may wake you up because you're a light sleeper. Um, Is that loud? Well, I room with Seville right now, and one time she woke up because I farted so loud. Oh my! But I won't wake up because I'm a heavy sleeper. It's okay. Yeah, but it's like um, you can't control it. yeah, <laughs> not always. Just like this is like twice. <laughs> and then okay, um, what else did I do? Oh. Um, I'll wake you up early in the morning if you need to be woken up. Are you a morning person? I'm like both. I'm like both night and morning. I like don't sleep that much, so I'm awake for most of the day. How, on average, how many hours of sleep do you get on a good day? On a good day, maybe like four or five. That's what? That's pretty good though. No, it's not. Okay. Four or five is like literally half of what normal people would get on a good day. Okay, well, I can't go to sleep until three in the morning because I, I feel weird about it. And then I like to wake up at eight so I can like finish things. Like I'm not productive. I just... Usually I just like, um, Jin told me that one time Jin walked in on me just like staring at the couch, like the patterns on the, on the couch, you know, like that's my pastime. And you don't remember this? I kind of zone out. And then when someone comes in, I realize that I'm doing something really weird. Whoa. Yeah. These are things I wouldn't, I wouldn't have expected. Yeah. Huh. What else? Well, are there, are you neat? Are you clean? Um, I do my laundry every three weeks. I don't know what that means, but, um, so maybe it's not very frequent, but it's okay. Me too. Okay. I kind of put it off as long as I can. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm very pleasant when I wake up though. Like, um. You might turn over your bed and see me smiling at you when you wake up. So, I don't know. I, I'm such a light sleeper that I wake up from people staring at me. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Well, Sibylla's told me that I tend to, like, loom over people, like, at night. <laughs> so, if you feel my shadow, um, I'm sorry if that wakes you up. Oh, my God. So, um, but other than that, I think I'm a pretty good roommate. You can ask my other ones. They would agree, maybe. <laughs> okay. Well, it doesn't matter to me. The deposit's already paid. <laughs> yeah. No turning back. I mean, I would say I'm a pretty good roommate. You know, like, I don't, I'm really, really quiet extremely quiet and pretty clean ever since i moved out of my house i take care of i like clean up after myself oh that's good yeah christine will like that a lot is she also uh christine's very type a so she'll like appreciate you oh uh, well 
Thank you, future Christine. Yeah. Well, let's move on to the second question. <clears throat> um, so, let's see. What do you look for in an enemy? In an enemy? Yes. What qualities will make you say, man, that guy is my arch and nemesis? Okay, well, usually I avoid conflict. I'm like very not confrontational, which is really bad. People tell me I'm really passive. Mm -hmm. um, passive aggressive yeah, or? Passive aggressive. Uh -huh. So, like, I'll put LOL after everything so that it. Um, <laughs> not all. Okay, I've, I've tried to stop. Okay, if, if I'm close with them, actually, no, I do it anyway. But people know. People who I'm close with know. So they'll know I'm mad at them or something. Okay, but quality is a nemesis. Honestly, I've never had one, uh -huh. but like, I've always wanted one. Like, I want to hate someone really bad, you know? Like, I feel like that's a good stress relief instead of being like, mediocre mad. So would you want to hate someone, like have a one-sided hate relationship or would it have to be two-sided? It needs to be two-sided because I, <laughs> I need someone to like push back, you know? So I push them. You want someone to hate you. Oh shoot, that would stress me out though. <laughs> but then I hate, okay, I hate when I am mad at someone, but they are so oblivious to it mm -hmm. and they think we're like good friends. Mm -hmm. So like I'd want them to also dislike me and I dislike them mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. Like I, I want like, I want my life to be like a drama. So <laughs> what would make you hate someone? Um, I hate selfish people. Yes. Um, yeah, and like people who are not self-aware. You mean like when you're in the bathroom showering, <laughs> and then someone like is pooping <laughs> on the toilet, and they could have. <laughs> Has this happened to you? <laughs> Has this happened? No, I'm just thinking because at my bathroom, um, we only have one stall okay. because I share it with two other people living in singles, and the shower's in the same like room as the toilet, oh. and so they. Is some a curtain though. Yeah, they sometimes like knock on the door asking if they can come in and use the toilet while I'm showering, and they always pee. If I'm like, man, what if they pooped? And the smell is like stuck with me, and they leave the room. Yeah. I'm like, man, I'm like showering, and then they're pooping, and like, oh, that's selfish. Yeah, that. Okay, well, okay. So if you're in the shower first, like, yeah, if, if someone's pooping, you're not gonna ask to shower, right? No, <laughs> no. Like, yeah, because the bathroom comes first, probably. So you'd have to walk by them pooping. So that. I mean, cool. there's a yeah. Well, there's no door for the the toilet. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I mean, I I think that's forgivable. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I was thinking more like deeper level of selfishness. Oh, you mean like eating your brownies and stuff? Oh yeah, that is pretty selfish. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty deep. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Like, okay. <laughs> or like, like not understanding other people's feelings mm -hmm. and then always talking about themselves, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I don't think they could be my enemy. Shoot, you know what? If they like killed someone that I know, then they would, they would be my enemy. What about your enemy killed your other enemy? Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, so if they killed someone I like, shoot, but killing is wrong in general. Uh -huh. Damn, I don't know. I don't think I'm cut out to have an enemy. <laughs> well, I guess that's our conclusion. <laughs> Mishiko does not have enemies. She does not really want one after thinking about it. Okay, third question. Um, what, what is on your wish list on any, under any category except food? Ugs. Okay, is this like short term or long term? Anything. Or like, okay, my... Your most consumerist, like desires mm. okay well i'd like to have a body pillow mm -hmm. um shaped like a man i think i've told someone this before how tall how like a six foot mm -hmm. body pillow they would hang off my bed probably but what about their bmi oh. <laughs> like tw is 20 is 20 you say, is that really you just say lean underweight oh. fat and obese and <laughs> is there nothing in between morbidly obese <laughs> and the, fit oh okay you forgot fit okay um <laughs> well i'd like fit with a little bit of chunkiness to it so morbidly obese morbidly <laughs> A little bit chunky. Uh, just, yeah, like fat. Fat's good. For a body... Okay, actually, okay, this isn't what I look for in a man. This is what I look for in a body pillow. So, <laughs> so fat, yeah. <laughs> is that yeah. all on your wish list? That's, yeah, that's on my wish list. Well... Fat body pillow. For all the listeners of this episode, we all know we need to get Michelle body pillow for yeah. Christmas. Yeah, do it. And my half birthday is July 25th, if anyone was wondering. So. I don't think anyone was wondering. <laughs> Thank you for the <laughs> yeah. Well, gifts are required for half birthdays, right? <laughs> No. Well, on my wish list, um, I've been really, I've been really craving some, some sandals. I really love shoes. You know, like the stereotypical right girl. Oh. I'm wearing shoes, you know, <laughs> with heels and stuff. But uh, I love shoes, so I really want sandals because I don't have any sandals, and I really want <clears throat> man sand like mandals, like you know those Nike ones that those bros wear with like socks. No, those are slippers, man. Oh. Those aren't sandals. Get your terminology. Right. <laughs> I want, I want sandals that are like strappy. I think all sandals are strappy. Actually. Like the super like like the super feminine one or like gladiator ones like what? I don't know. Got brows, <laughs> and I also really want. <clears throat> mm, I really want <gasps> a drone, oh. a drone. And then my mom said I shouldn't get a drone or else she'll think that I'm spying on her. I'll get one That's anyway. That's the best use for a drone. I think um, the M Hacks team has like seven. You could probably just borrow one and not give it back. Seven drones? Yeah. Why do they need seven drones for? No, they're just fuck. I have no idea. 
Jeez Louise. Well, I'm not in Michigan Hackers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't really think of anything. Oh, I also really want um, skincare products. That's like my, my biggest vice. Ooh, skincare Korean, products. Korean skincare products? Yeah, like Asian skincare stuff. The body shop? Not the body shop, the face shop. Yeah, that's one. That's one brand, but there are other. There's so many. There's so many things always coming out. Wait, honey, let's do face masks together. I love, so I love that stuff. Okay, okay. I freaking love that stuff. All right. Well, this has been another episode of Hemi Thoughts. Catch you guys next time. Hemi Thoughts. <laughs>